Hi everyone, this is Becky, um, and I'm checking in with you. We miss you all, and we have all been trying to think of different things that we could share with you on our YouTube channel, and I have decided to tell you a story today. Uh, this will be one that most of the children have heard, uh, some of the parents perhaps as well, but it's a good one, and I thought you would enjoy it. So today, um, which is Tuesday, Happy St. Patrick's Day, the 17th, I am going to be telling you the story of the three little wolves and the big bad pig. Once upon a time, there was a mother wolf and she had three little baby wolves and they all lived together in a beautiful den. But as the little wolves grew up, there was not quite so much space. So one day the mother wolf said to her babies, could you please go off and make your way in the world? You're grown up enough and you guys will be fine. Just remember when you are out there to look out uh, and avoid the big bad pig because he's terrible and I don't want you to get in trouble with him. So the three little wolves went off to make their fortune in the world and they had not gone very far when they came to a person selling bricks. So they bought the bricks and they built a beautiful brick house and they had only just gone inside to enjoy some tea when who should come walking down the road but the big bad pig and the big bad pig walked up to them and knocked on their door and said little wolves little wolves let me come in. Um <clears throat> not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And he huffed, and he puffed. But can you blow down a house made of bricks with your breath? No, you cannot. So he went home, and he got a sledgehammer, and he brought it back, and he knocked, and he knocked, and he knocked their house all to pieces. And as it crumbled around them, they had only just managed to run into the woods and escape. Well, they went a little further into the woods, feeling a little bit frightened from their trauma, and they came upon a person selling cement. And they decided this was a great idea, and so they built cement, and they made a, a house made of cement. And they had only just gone inside when who should come walking down the road but the big, bad pig. And he rang the doorbell. Ding dong! And they said, yes, hello? And he said, Little pigs, little pigs, little wolves, little wolves. Sorry, I know all of you just corrected me. Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. Um, <clears throat> not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And he huffed and he puffed. But can you blow down a house made of cement? No, you cannot. So he went home and he got a jackhammer. And you all know what a jackhammer is, right? It's those uh, T-shaped uh, drills that they use to break up the cement in the street. And he went home and he got one. And he wrecked their house all to pieces. And the three little wolves only just managed to escape into the woods. So they went a little further. And they met somebody who was selling steel and iron. And they built a house made of steel and iron with bars on the windows and barbed wire all around the top. And they went inside and had only just sat down to make some tea when who should come walking down the road but the big bad pig. And he came and rang the ring doorbell. <laughs> Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And he huffed and he puffed. But can you blow down a house made of iron and steel and bars with your mouth? You cannot. So he went home and he got some sticks of dynamite. And you all know what dynamite is, right? Dynamite is like little bombs that they use to make tunnels or um, mine and blow rocks apart. And he went and he planted them all around this house and they blew up the house 
all to pieces, and the little wolves only just managed to run into the woods. Now the little wolves were very sad and discouraged, and they came upon someone who was selling flowers, and they bought all the flowers they could find, and they built a house made of roses and daffodils and sunflowers and gardenias and all the beautiful flowers in all the world. And it was so very delicate and beautiful. And they went inside, and they had only sat down to have their tea when who should come walking down the road but the big bad pig. And he came up and he rang delicate little blue bell ding-a-ling-a-ling ding a ling a ling and said little wolves little wolves let me come in the little wolf said not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down and he took a deep breath and it was the most beautiful smell that he had ever smelled and he stopped and his heart grew a little lighter, and he felt a little bit less mean and big and bad, and a little bit more kind and gentle. So he took another deep breath. And he was so happy by the smell and the beauty that surrounded him that he didn't blow down their house. He said, little wolves, I just want someone to play with. Will you come out and play with me? And the little wolves came out and they danced around. And then the little wolves invited the not-so-bad pig into their house. And they had tea and strawberries and enjoyed each other's company. And they all lived happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed that story. I will try and think of another to tell you again tomorrow or another day this week. Um, we miss you all and we'll see you soon. Bye.